Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and welcome to the official launch event for the collection of uh, short stories called A Dark Assortment. They're just stories, aren't they? It's a um, collection of um, varied tales, but all with something of a uh, an element of darkness to them, a little twist in the tail usually, a little sting in the tail perhaps sometimes. Um, quite varied, all different lengths. And different kind of content as well, often uh, even different themes to them, but there's always something in there um, slightly dark. I'm going to do some readings for the event today and the audio files, which will be slightly better quality than you're seeing on the video, they'll all be um, cleaned up and good to listen to, um, will be available on my website to subscribers uh, of my newsletter which is uh, called the Awkward Squad so if you want to join the Awkward Squad um, go over to mikeycampling.com forward slash giveaway giveaway all one word and you'll see there's a way there to get uh, some free books and also you get these free audio files and some free artwork and all kinds of other stuff uh, anything I can find to give you basically so full details on my website at mikeycampling.com. So the first story I'm going to read to you is uh, the first one in the book and it's just quite a nice little short one called Floorboards. <clears throat> Floorboards. Simon knew the old oak floorboard shifted and creaked on a cold night like this, but it didn't bother him. The house was solid built to stand the test of time, and Simon felt safe, even though he was alone. Alone, just the way he liked it. He enjoyed the stillness, the solitude. It was even better if, like tonight, the empty rooms were wrapped in soft velvet darkness. As he began his careful routine of checking the rooms on the ground floor, he left the ceiling lights and table lamps switched off. Their unkind glare would have been most unwelcome. Anyway, he didn't need extra illumination. His eyes had grown accustomed to the gloom, and he sensed the subtle shifts in the shadow's depths as he slipped softly from room to room. He paused in the hallway, tilting his head to one side, Another creak from the floorboards above? He stood perfectly still and closed his eyes. No, it had perhaps been his mind playing tricks on him. He opened his eyes. Silly man. After all, what could there possibly be to frighten him in an empty house? He headed toward the stairs. It was time to go up. But as he placed his foot on the bottom step, he heard something that made him stop in his tracks. This time he was sure, this time it couldn't have been his imagination. Slowly he turned to hunt down the source of the sound. There, an old-fashioned telephone sat on a small table in the hallway. It was the only thing that could have emitted the jagged surge of hissing static that had shocked Simon to the core. The blood drained from his face. Somewhere in the dark house, someone had just picked up one of the other handsets. This was the only thing that could have caused the main phone to make that sound. He was not alone. Simon fought the urge to grab the handset. If I do that, they'll know exactly where I am. And how would they react? Simon ran a hand over his face. However it was, he must not make them panic. He took a breath and carried on up the stairs, moving as quickly as he could. He placed his weight carefully on each step, his shoes sinking gently into the thick carpet. He didn't make a sound. In moments he reached the top of the stairs. Here the same thick carpet would muffle his furtive footsteps. He crossed to the nearest door and stood, listening. Yes, this was the place. From beyond the door came the faintest traces of a man's voice, hushed, urgent. 
Simon leaned closer to the door and pressed his ear against the painted wood. He could just make out the words. Yes, the man said. I'm sure. You must come quickly. There's... There's somebody in my house. I hope you enjoyed that um, short story called Floorboards, part of a dark assortment. Plenty more where that came from. Bargain. Available on, uh, all, no, actually available exclusively on Amazon. So uh, Prime members can borrow it for free. It's part of their um, buck a month they can borrow. And Kindle Unlimited users can, of course, uh, read it free whenever they feel like it. So I'd encourage you to check it out. And uh, as we build up to Halloween, um, you know, give yourself a bit of a scare. Or perhaps buy it for, buy it for a, a, a relative and give them a scare. Scare the pants off your mother-in-law. Why not? That's what I say. It's got to be, <laughs> got to be good for something, hasn't it? Okay, I'll stop that one there and I'll record another one. Thank you for listening and watching.